Now, since this is TED Global, who can tell me what this is called in French? I see you're all up on the history of hurdy-gurdy. Via la Roue. And in Spanish, Sanfonia. And in Italian, Gironda. Okay, hurdy-gurdy or wheel fiddle. So these are the different kinds and shapes of the hurdy-gurdy. The hurdy-gurdy is the only musical instrument that uses a crank to turn a wheel to rub strings like the bow of a violin to produce music. It has three different kinds of strings. The first string is the drone string, which plays a continuous sound like the bagpipe. The second string is a melody string, which is played with a wooden keyboard tuned like a piano. And the third string is pretty innovative. It's also the only instrument that uses this kind of, of technique. It activates what's called the buzzing bridge or the dog. So when I turn the crank and I apply pressure, it makes a sound like a barking dog. Okay, so all of this is pretty innovative if you consider that the hurdy-gurdy appeared about a thousand years ago and it took two people to play it, one to turn the crank and another person, yes, to play the melody by physically pulling up large wooden pegs, okay? So luckily all of this changed a couple of centuries later so one person can actually play and almost, this is pretty heavy, carry the hurdy-gurdy. Um, the hurdy-gurdy has been used historically through the centuries in mostly dance music because of the uniqueness of the melody combined with the acoustic boombox here. And today the hurdy-gurdy is used in all sorts of music, uh, traditional folk music, uh, dance, contemporary, and uh, world music in the UK, in France, in Spain, and in Italy. And this kind of hurdy-gurdy takes anywhere from three to five years. It's made by specialized luthiers, also in Europe. And um, it's very difficult to tune. So, without further ado, would you like to hear it? Yes. I didn't hear you. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Okay. Well, there I go. Okay, I'd like to sing in Basque, which is the language spoken in the Basque country where I live, in the region of France and Spain. traditional Basque rhythms and this is a song that kind of is, has a kind of a Celtic feel.
The precision of a watch is a function of its movement. For Rolex and for Hans Wilsdorf, to guarantee the precision of a timepiece, the pressing question was how to protect the movement itself from the elements, not only water, but also tiny particles of dust. In 1926, a major step was taken with the creation of the world's first waterproof and dustproof wristwatch. The Rolex Oyster was born. Over the years, subtle changes in the design continue to improve the Oyster, adding more comfort while keeping the style contemporary. And along with style, more functions have been added. A Rolex wristwatch was the first to show the date through a small aperture on the face. It was also the first wristwatch to spell out the day of the week in full. In the early 1950s, Rolex developed professional watches whose functions went far beyond telling the time. Launched in 1953, the Submariner was the first Rolex watch guaranteed waterproof to a depth of 330 feet. Already on an incredible journey of innovation and design, Rolex decided to push the boundaries even further. In 1960, the Bathyscav Trieste and Rolex made history. The submersible successfully dived to 35,800 feet below the surface of the ocean. A Rolex deep sea special was strapped to the outside. The development of undersea exploration led to the launching in 1967 of the Sea Dweller 2000, waterproof to a depth of 2,000 feet. In 2008, the Submariner in gold is redesigned and the case features a new unidirectional rotatable bezel with a Cerachrom disc. Fitted with the patented Rolex ring lock system, the Rolex Deep Sea safely descends to 12,800 feet. has incorporated countless hours and more than a century of experience, years of research, innovation and development into every one of its models. And the benefits arising from this work, including waterproofness, precision and durability, are the result of Rolex's continuous pursuit of perfection. From the most elegant and prestigious models to the professional timepieces, all are exquisitely crafted. Piece by piece, we design and manufacture every single watch. And the story continues.